Today, we got Patrick Kelly, who's the director of IP video solutions for Digital Watchdog and has been around for not quite as long as me, but uh, a number careful, of careful. several decades. How about that? Um, so yeah. without further ado, I'd like to say good morning, Patrick. Welcome and the floor is yours. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, work with our partners at ADI and um, uh, hopefully we provide some information here this morning for you. As uh, Michael said, uh, the, the webinar is being recorded and it's going to be posted up on ADI's site. Uh, we also will uh, try to get that posted up on the Digital Watchdog site so you'll have this uh, in both locations for uh, future reference. Um, just a little quick agenda for today. We're going to talk about a uh, little bit about Digital Watchdog. For those of you that don't know us, we'll do a quick little introduction. Um, then we'll get into the product itself, which is the uh, elevated skin temperature system, um, and cover some uh, questions to consider when you're when you're looking at deploying a, a, a uh, some technology like this, and also show you where you can find some additional resources and so forth for the product itself. And then, as Michael said, if you have any questions, please put them into the chat. We'll try to get to them here. Uh, in the time allotted. If we can't get to them, we certainly will uh, get back to you with some answers or we'll get some uh, get some people in front of you to get uh, your, your questions answered as well. So a little, little quick background on Digital Watchdog for those of you that don't know. I see a lot of familiar names in the list here, but uh, just in case, you know, we're founded in 1987, so been in business for quite a long time. I'm based out of the Tampa, Florida office. We have our headquarters in Southern California in Cerritos. Uh, we have our uh, R&D and manufacturing facility in South Korea, and we also have another manufacturing facility in Vietnam. So, um, you know, we're specialized in the video surveillance market. And so, uh, you know, uh, with those manufacturing facilities, we manufacture all of our products in South Korea, Vietnam, and Taiwan. Um, we do uh, meet NDA compliance with a lot of our products. Uh, we have that listed on our website. You can always go check that out uh, for today's environment uh, with the product itself. So Digital Watchdog, we've led with uh, innovation and it's really about, for us, it's about the user experience and how the user interacts with the product. And so over the, over the timeline here, we've, we've worked to release groundbreaking technology, uh, whether it's our Spectrum video management software, uh, to our Megapix CAS product, as well as our VMAX lineup. Um, we have a long history in the video surveillance market with our products. Uh, you'll find a lot of that information on our website. Uh, we have a number of resources uh, on the website uh, from the partner program to installation videos, documentation, an online knowledge base. Uh, you can reach out and, through that knowledge base and talk to our technical support team, create uh, tickets right there online. Uh, as well as uh, the DW University with our new LMS learning, uh, online learning uh, system uh, is all available. And we'll get into that a little bit, a little bit later on. In addition to the online resources, we do have uh, a number of people strategically placed, um, both regional sales managers, sales engineers, and, and a uh, experienced team of manufacturers representatives across the country uh, with product in hand, ready to do demonstrations, trainings, uh, and answer your questions. So this team is available to you uh, to get out there and uh, come see you, or at least uh, be close enough to uh, support you out in the field. So today we're going to talk about the um, elevated skin temperature system, the EST. Uh, and so we're going to give a quick little product overview of the EST and what it's designed to do. And it's, it's really designed to automatically pre-screen everyone entering a building uh, or facility, okay? So it is a, um, just to be clear what about the EST system is, it's a security grade thermal camera that provides a low friction contactless alternative to traditional screening methods. So where people are currently employing somebody to stand at the front of a building, uh, at the entrance and take people's temperature uh, with a thermometer. This kind of, uh, this technology is deployed just to speed that process up 
um, by using the technology to do a quick pre-screen of everybody, um, identify the people for additional screening using the EST uh, camera system. So we sell this as a complete kit. So a complete kit would be the dual sensor thermal camera with a high definition camera incorporated into, into one housing. So it's a dual sensor camera, as well as the black body temperature sensor, which is an important component of the system. Um, and then you have the DWEST software that, uh, that makes it work, as well as we even include two uh, uh, tripods for the devices to mount onto so that you can quickly and easily deploy this solution we do sell the, the uh, black body and the camera individually, but we recommend the complete kit and we'll get into the black body itself and why we recommend that black body. So the um, EST solution, um, it, does, it does self calibrate in real time with that black body to provide high, high accuracy skin temperature readings. Um, the camera itself has a, uh, four times larger sensor than some of the competing products out there in the marketplace uh, to provide uh, more data for higher accuracy. And then it is a, a, a high throughput pre-screening of people to detect and indicate uh, elevated skin temperature at various distances. So there's some flexibility and we'll get into as far as the, uh, the uh, read uh, distances as well. Uh, please note that this is not a, uh, it's not a medical device. Uh, and so, you know, we're, we're saying this is a pre-screen device that you would then use to um, uh, investigate for, for, for further uh, detection of, of fever, but it's a, it's a quick pre-screening device of, used for that. Get into the specifications of the product itself. Uh, we have a thermal camera as well as a 2.1 megapixel visible camera all in one housing. So that dual sensor camera itself, uh, each one of those that you see there, you'll notice, and I'll point this out a couple of times here, the interface. So the thermal is coming through the ethernet interface while the, um, while the visible camera is coming through a USB 3.0 uh, interface. Uh, and we'll, we'll show that here in just a second as well. It does come with the software uh, that you can load onto a PC. And so the, the software will do, um, will, will basically run the camera, um, use the, the black body as the reference point and so for, uh, to, to detect people. Product is covered with a two year limited warranty. So it is a complete standalone integrated solution. Um, so this is really designed to, to work uh, by itself. Uh, so we do make a lot of products. I mentioned DW Spectrum and the VMAX products, and those are all great solutions for what they're designed to do. This is designed to run as a standalone solution, um, and it's ideal for pre-screening at secured entrances of schools, offices, warehouse, various different types of locations. Um, so one of the keys with this product is it is an easy to set up. It sets up in mi literally minutes. Um, the thermal image is connected via that Ethernet connection, like, as I mentioned, while the visible image is connected via the USB cable. So there's a 3.0 uh, USB connection that, that's making that. It's going to direct connect to that PC. Um, you can take the camera and mount it. So we do provide the, the tripods in the kit, but if you wanted to wall or ceiling mount it, uh, it's, it's a universal uh, mounting type device that you can attach to that. Um, and so there are some additional uh, outputs on the uh, product itself. One of the outputs we use for an included LED strobe, strobe light, excuse me. So if you wanted to uh, have the software uh, light up uh, on an alarm event, you can have that. We include that LED strobe light with the kit as well. And then there's an additional output if you wanted to attach it to a additional alarm devices and so forth to that. You also have on the product itself is a local monitor output. Uh, so you can take the thermal view and you can bring that uh, either via HDMI or composite output of the uh, camera itself. As I mentioned, it is very flexible in terms of it is able to read from a number of distances. We recommend a 10 foot read, but you have between six and a half and 16 feet of effective distance from the people. Keep in mind, you wanna have that black body 
within the field of view of the camera. And that also we recommend to be about 10 feet, but you have, you know, uh, 9.8 to 14 feet of uh, effective distance uh, from the black body itself. Uh, we recommend the black body be mounted at about five foot, hence the, uh, the included tripod that come with it. Now, uh, one of the questions that's already come in, and uh, and you'll notice on this particular slide, we're saying that you can uh, set, set it to a single person scanning mode. That is the uh, FBA recommendation. Um, the, the camera and the software is capable of scanning multiple people. However, we recommend following the FDA guidelines in this case and setting the software and the camera up to scan in a single port, uh, single person mode. Excuse me. Okay. So looking at the um, looking at the software itself, as I mentioned, the the cameras connect directly to the PC. Um, the software, once installed on the PC, will automatically once you launch the software and you've got the cameras connected to it. Uh, the software will automatically find the black body uh, in the field of view. So that's its reference point and providing its reference temperature. Um, so it's providing that constant reference temperature. At that point, the, uh, the software will do a self calibrating in real time between, uh, between the black body and the, the, uh, the, the surrounding area. Um, through the software, you will get two views. You'll get the uh, 2.1 megapixel view as well as the thermal view. Uh, there is a wide dynamic capability on that 2.1 megapixel view, uh, but you do want to pay attention to later on when we get into the questions um, in terms of how you set this up. You want to be careful about uh, what you're pointing the camera at uh, and so forth. So um, <clears throat> I did mention the uh, the larger sensor, so it does have a four time larger sensor than some of the competing products out there. And really what that gets down to is it, it's the accuracy of the product, the amount of data it's able to collect with that thermal sensor uh, to provide that thermal reading. So provides uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, pixel data, raw thermal data to the, the software. And then the software is able to perform the calculations on the PC itself. Uh, so it's able to provide a, a highly accurate reading very quickly uh, to set, set those alarms. So there you get an example of the software interface. You'll notice in the lower left corner there, the history where each event, so it's being recorded there. And you've got in the main interface there, as I mentioned, the 2.1 megapixel view on the right, as well as the thermal view on the left. Um, this is all completely configurable in terms of the colors, uh, the bounding boxes, uh, and then we'll get into also in terms of the temperature offset uh, settings in here. So instant notification, the idea is to provide notification through the local client um, when additional screening is needed so that you can identify people uh, and pull them out for additional screening. Um, automatic uh, visual notification so that you can have that on screen. You can also have audible alarms. Um, you can turn that on or off. As I mentioned, we do include an LED strobe with the camera. So if you want that to light up uh, on an alarm event, you can have that light up as well. Uh, and then you do have the relay output if you wanted to connect that to other devices from there. Okay, so as I've uh, talked a little bit about when we're saying uh, the uh, questions to consider and, you know, it, as with all technology, you know, the uh, being deployed in the right application is, is most important. Um, this slide's pretty wordy, but obviously, uh, you know, which screening method is best, best for your particular application? Um, you know, the two most important things are sensitivity and accuracy, obviously, in this case. There are a lot of considerations that you should take into a uh, Take into, take into consideration when evaluating a solution out there, um, primarily like the use of a black body for reference, um, relative versus absolute, absolute readings, we'll talk about that. Um, the number of people scanned, this is already uh, just looking at the questions and the other monitor here, uh, a, a, a constant question um, with this particular product. But again, the, the product itself is capable of scanning multiple people. However, in terms of recommendations and meeting the FDA guidelines, 
our recommendation is to do set it in single uh, person mode. Um, so where to, where to screen people is an important consideration I talked a little bit about earlier. Um, the environmental factors such as airflow and sunlight can influence the accuracy of the measurement. So you'll see in the first graphic there on the left and the upper left, you don't want to, you know, the big thing here is that you're going to put this at the entrance to a building. However, you want the camera, uh, not necessarily, you don't want it pointed at that entrance. You don't want it pointed at that glass storefront. Uh, so you want to avoid pointing, pointing it towards the direct sunlight, uh, you know, so that you're not getting uh, uh, false alarms uh, with this or, or influencing the calibration of the black body in the camera itself. You also want to pay attention in terms of fluorescent lights around the camera if you happen to ceiling mount the camera or something like that. Uh, and also keeping in mind, you know, air ducts, cooling ducts, airflow around the devices, anything that's going to artificially raise or lower um, the skin surface temperature of the, of the uh, screening of the subjects as well as the devices themselves. A lot of questions about the um, the black body device itself and what it is. So it's it emits a uh, heat signature, um, providing a constant reference point. Okay, and um, it you know it should be mounted within the camera's field of view, so it should be somewhere within the the image that the camera is providing, so that when the person walks through, um, it has the ability to to do a comparison between the black body and the person uh, for that. Also keep in mind that the software is using that black body to do uh, an auto calibration in real time. So, you know, you come in in the morning in a, into a facility, it's cool outside. I mean, I work here in Florida, it's cool outside uh, in the morning versus in the afternoon, you know, mid afternoon, the temperatures are going up. Uh, so th throughout the course of a day, uh, the temperature range is going to tr change and the, uh, the black body provides that calibration uh, capability. Relative versus absolute, um, and, you know, whether you're setting it too low or too high, uh, too low uh, where you're getting uh, false alarms, where you're missing it. So within the software itself, you have this, um, this offset capability so that you can make adjustments for that. So, um, you know, you can, you can raise or lower it, uh, in the software settings for uh, to, to to make those adjustments for that particular location uh, and and that so basically the process here and we get into this um, in some of the videos that we talk about uh, that we'll talk about later is the ability to go in and uh, you know you want to use a medical grade thermometer you want to do a comparison and you're going to go in and set that offset uh, based on on the um, people coming through that particular location. So location, location, location. Again, we mentioned it here. Um, oh, sorry, one more thing. I think I missed it back here. Again, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, it is highly recommended using at least one black body per, per installation. We understand and will show that you can use this system without the black body. You can purchase the camera by itself. However, in terms of accuracy, you wanna you want to always use that black body. That's our recommendation with this particular product. Um, the location, you know, you want to keep other heat sources out of the camera's view. You want to avoid mounting the camera and black body under air ducts, as we've talked about, reflective backgrounds and windows and so forth. You want to install this uh, facing away from the door uh, at a 20 degree angle from the screening path. And you want people to go through one at a time as they're going through this is the recommendation for uh, how, how you just set this up. So some additional documentation that we provide both on the website, um, there's links to it, we'll get into that in just a second here, but here's a quick little synopsis of, the, of a successful workflow using the EST camera system uh, in terms of the recommendations. Again, that 10 foot recommendation from the camera to the person with the screening, 10 foot recommendation from the camera to the black body device, in the, within the field of view. Um, number five down there, you'll see but if you're gonna set it up with the camera itself, uh, this is not something I mentioned, is, it is a quick setup, but once you've set it up, you wanna do a, uh, a bake-in. Um, without a black body device, you're gonna need 30 minutes before 
you know, you want that system to uh, be operational. You want 30 minutes for it, the, the, uh, the camera to acclimate to a location. Using the black body and the camera itself, uh, it can be five minutes um, with that, okay? So uh, we wanna make sure that, uh, you know, your, it is set up correctly. It's not set up under fans and so forth for that. Uh, so, okay, so we talked about uh, some resources that are available, and so we've got a number, you know, a lot of the information that you've seen on these slides, uh, we've got a number of that information also available on our website so that, uh, that you're able to use this and reference that later. So let me just kind of uh, pop out of here for a second, and we'll go over here. And just so everybody is aware as they're going through this, you'll see here is the Digital Watchdog uh, website itself with our banners rotating at the top. And first thing you'll see on the banner, the first one is the EST camera. If you cl click that, you're going to land into the EST landing page, um, which is going to provide a lot of this information about, you know, which applications this is suitable for, um, some information about where to install it, you know, how to screen, and then, and then what you should do in terms of verification afterwards. And then you've got additional information, all the stuff that I've covered here so far in terms of the, the sensor, the, the read distances, and so forth, are all found on that landing page. Um, from there, you can go to the product page. There's multiple links on that particular page, which will bring you to this product page um, to where you can get into some of the uh, specification and detailed information about the product itself, uh, as well as some of the documentation. So we'll focus on the documentation here for a second, just so you see that we do have a uh, PDF uh, available uh, brochure, the data sheet, and the quick setup guide, uh, as well as uh, the features the set, the specifications, the part numbers. So all the stuff that we've referenced that we're referencing here in the PowerPoint is available right, right on our website for um, further reference. So if we take a look at the brochure, you'll see that the, um, again, just being repetitive, but the information that we've covered is published here so that you can, you can share this and make sure everybody understands this product and how, it, how it's supposed to be deployed. So you're not, uh, not overselling it, not underselling it, um, just being uh, all those questions that we, we covered in the, in the presentation are also part of this brochure. The setup guide, um, so you'll see again, a lot of uh, familiar information um, in the setup guide itself as far as setting up the camera and the camera connection. So this ships with every camera, but it is also on our, our website. Again, talking about if you want the visible view on your display is going to be with that USB cable versus the thermal camera coming from the ethernet uh, connection. Um, it is an IP device giving you that thermal view. So we talk about uh, how to set it up. Uh, this is an, one of the questions I noticed that came in. Uh, this is a standalone system, okay? So um, there are ways that you can, you can do this, but if you look at, uh, you can incorporate this into other solutions, but, um, and you know, we can talk about that one-on-one, uh, -on -one, but the product itself is going to ship with a default IP address, okay? And it's a fixed IP address to that. And then you're gonna set your computer up with the software that's installed on it um, with a similar IP address so that the, the, the computer and the, um, and the camera are on the same network to get that thermal view. Now, if the computer that you have has multiple network interface cards, there's other things that you can do in terms of streaming that video out. However, for just the basic setup of this system and the recommendations as a standalone system, um, you'll find that here in the setup guide. The workflow that we just showed uh, is also part of that setup guide because we think you know this product needs to be properly installed. Um, and so these references are, are there and available for, for further reference. Uh, to the product so that you can apply that to particular uh, locations and applications. And then, of course, we've got the data sheet with all the specification information that we showed early on in the presentation uh, with the product itself. Okay, so those are some of the resources that you'll find on the product page. You'll also find 
uh, on, from the product page that you can get to our video channels. And I just wanted to point out in terms of uh, some of the video resources that we have. So I brought up our, our we both have both a YouTube channel and a, and a Lima channel, but you'll see that we have a uh, promotional video. If you wanna incorporate that into your websites, uh, we have uh, uh, promotional information about the product itself, where it fits, how it works, you know, what, what it's solving. So it's solving this problem of having to have somebody stand there and scan people. Uh, so this is automatically doing the pre-screening of the product itself. Uh, the demonstration of the software and how it works is shown here in, in this uh, demonstration video. Uh, so as people are walking through the office here, you'll notice that the uh, black body is in, in the background there uh, and the camera is using that as the reference point. And then we also get into, uh, we also have another video uh, on the channel as well that's going to talk about the, um, the calibration and how easy it is to set up and calibrate. You know, once it finds that, that black body in the field of view, it's going to automatically do its calibration. But within here, you'll find so an out of the box experience. So when you order the kit, you get the camera, you get the black body, you get the tripods, uh, the cables. So everything that it ships with uh, is shown and displayed here. And we walk you through the setup of the product and how to calibrate it and set up the alarms with this. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware that that information is available online. Uh, Okay, so we've got those promotional videos. Again, as I mentioned early on, we do have uh, both uh, regional sales managers, sales engineers, as well as a, a team of uh, manufacturers representatives strategically placed across the country, ready to go out and do uh, demonstrations with this product, to do trains with this product. So if you want to see that, you can refer to our website, um, put an inquiry there. We can get, the, get it to the, the uh, correct person for your area and have you, have you guys connect as soon as possible with that. Just to kind of review in terms of the purchasing options of this product, uh, we do sell it as a complete kit in, at ADI. So it has uh, the dual sensor thermal camera, the black body calibration device, the software itself, the EST software, as well as two device tripods um, for each one of the devices. Individual part numbers for both the camera and the black body are available if you want to uh, need to purchase individual components to this particular product as well. Okay. So kind of ran through that pretty quickly. I saw a couple questions. I tried to answer them as I was talking here. Um, yeah, in terms of uh, how many people can be scanned um, we, the product is capable of scanning multiple people. However, we do recommend that you set it in a single person scanning mode uh, to comply. Um, to provide hmm, part numbers from other mounting options. So it's just uh, in terms of it's a, it's a universal uh, camera mount on, on the body of that camera as well as on the black body. So it's just uh, standard camera mounts. We can, we can certainly look at ADI system and get you some, some part numbers for, for other mounting options if you wanted to do this. Um, another question that had come in was regards to the uh, connection to the NVR. And the software is gonna record each one of the events. Uh, and so you'll have that available on, record, on that station there. Uh, and so it's really designed to be a standalone system, not saying you can't incorporate it, um, but as it's, as it's being sold, we're, 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 we're setting that. Um, yeah, so it is, it is a, uh, it is a, it is the forehead, um, it is the question whether it's the tear duct or the forehead. So we're, we're, we're taking the temperature at the skin level, uh, for this and, uh, need to know the max number of people that can be scanned. There's, so there's no maximum number of people in terms of, again, scanning, put it in single, single person mode, but uh, scanning, uh, you know, can just be, can be continuous from there. Okay. All right. Any other questions from the group out there? I think I got them. 
all answered. Michael, did you see any that I missed? No, I cleaned them all up as you went so that uh, we wouldn't miss any. If you have a question, would you mind raising your hand so that we know uh, we're waiting for more things to come in? Steven uh, Do you provide an API? Um, so we can look at that. Um, as, as I've mentioned a couple of times, um, it is pretty, uh, pretty much a, uh, you know, a self-contained system within itself with the, an alarm output, but we can, of course, uh, we can, we can, Stephen, we can get back to you as far as the API goes and uh, with the product. Check with some of my uh, product development technical people on that. Okay. Looks, Patrick, Michael, looks like we got DW, COVID, the state of the world. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll leave the state of the world to the audience out there. I mean, as far as uh, this team is uh, actively engaged out there, um, we are using a lot of tools like Zoom. Uh, so we've got a lot of people, some of who are on this call, uh, ready and available to do uh, webinars, whether they're using Ring Central, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams, or whatever the technology is that you have. Uh, and then they are also the, some of some of the some of the people are traveling. Uh, and so they are available to meet with you uh, if you're if you're open to that uh, and meet responsibly and they can um, they can help you with this technology. Again, we've we've got quite a quite an experienced group out there uh, ready to go out and we have armed them with uh, EST kits. So EST kits are deployed around the country and ready to be uh, uh, shown and demonstrated. 